Hello everybody, it's Happy Hippo here um, with another Minecraft video. And today in my video, I'm going to be showing you, or not showing you, but building my garden. Um, sorry for any background noises, it's my little brother. And today, I think I'm going to take Snoopy with me. <laughs> Hello, Snoopy. And you can't forget to shut the door. I've already cleared out a little plot over here where I'm going to be making my above ground plots for planting. I've also cleared out a little hole in the wall. Um, just getting a hole in the wall. It's like a little room where I can um, plant me mushrooms because mushrooms have to be in a dark area, not to grow. Yeah. You're just gonna need some wood logs and some wood planks. Place the wood logs in our four corners. This is um a copy off of how villagers do their um garden pots. So in my next video, I'm gonna be doing um, my animal engagement centre. I'm just going to fill this all in like that. So you can mine and plant stuff in this pot. I'll probably have some beets and may wheat. And just continue this throughout. In just a second, I'm going to fast forward to when I'm finished building my plots, so you can see that when it's done. Okay, so I finished my plots, and I have, in this plot, I'm probably going to be doing beets and wheat, and then over here, in the fards pot plot, we're going to be doing some sugar cane. And I would go ahead and do that. And also these purple plants. I can't remember the name at the moment. But you can find them in the end. Oh darn it. I have to have water there. Hmm. Did not think that in three. I'm also going to pitch cane these because sugar is very necessary to make some tasty cakes. Oh, missed one. Maybe we can just wait for that to grow. And then over here we can do some beets and wheat. You have to have a hoe so that you can um, hoe the land. Or what do you call it? Is it hoe the land? I think it is hoeing the land or turning it up. Now I'm just gonna get some seeds and some beet seeds. I'm really sorry for me dog upstairs and to get her toenails cut.
I'm also going to put some signs up. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some wheat seeds down in the first three rows and then put my beet seeds down in the other two rows and put some signs up. So I'm going to fast forward because that's just not necessary part of this video. So see you in a few. So I have fast forwarded the video to me making my mushroom room because you cannot have mushrooms grow in light, you have to do it in darkness. So what better way than to make a room a designated room for it? And I've already dug out this area. I'm just gonna put some mushrooms down. I don't know if you have to um, use a hoe first I don't think so because it wouldn't place just do that way I'm just going to go towards right underneath that torch there and because I'm going to be doing two different kinds of mushrooms Just do it in rows so I can still walk. So I have tin left, so. I think I will do another row there. Just have to make sure I have enough room for the fencing. And I'm going to do the other mushrooms. Oops, I missed two. And I finished that, so now I'm going to go make some fences. You need a stick to make fences. Okay, and then I'm going to go put these fences down in front of the mushrooms. And just to put some crafting tables in each of the corners. The fence is going to go directly under the torch, and I missed two. And then it's also going to go horizontal as well, leaving a gap for you to access to. And I'm going to put a door down as well. 
keep the key thing out. And sorry for the fan in the background. Got a little hot in my room. And there you have it. So I'm just going to go around. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm probably going to do a few things off camera. But this is pretty much it for the garden. So can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.